Yes, boys, what's happening? And welcome back to the vlog. It's Will here filming this on my iPhone because unfortunately I've smashed my camera. But this vlog was filmed prior to me doing that and it is an absolutely fantastic one that I'm sure you're going to enjoy. It's from the fourth time we went to Middlesbrough. Sold out show again. Unbelievable event. Kilvo there tore the roof off in his hometown. A lovely gaff that we like called the Longlands Club. Young Dave travelled with us on the road. We ended up in a good mate of ours in his pizza shop. And uh, yeah, it's just a fucking good laugh. Another viral video came out of this one. Um, a fella approaches the stage while Frank's on stage. Frank absolutely savaged them to bits. I've left a viral clip in this. I couldn't subtitle it because it was just going to take me about two years to do so. And uh, I think you'll really, really like this vlog. So enjoy it. Give us a thumb up. Let us know what you think below. Enjoy this vlog from when we went to Middlesbrough. What's happening? I'm well. Where are you off to? Middlesbrough. Who you got with you? Dave's with us. Good afternoon, everyone. Dave from Kilbo. I'm on my way. <laughs> So we're on our way. It's uh, 10 to 2. 10 to 3. And 10 to 3. And uh, we're on our way, so we better hurry up. So we're heading down to Butter. Frank's driving as usual. Dave, as we say, young Dave in the back. As I was AKA told. Sausage. That's right. If you don't know, now you know. Get to know Dave. Dave has met a lot of famous people in his life and uh, get some excellent photographs of each occasion which Kilvo is dying to see, isn't he? That's so, yeah, uh, yeah. Dave, tell us what you've got here. Batch 2. Well, Have you can explain well, it's slightly for batch. us. It's just the 40 years I've spent in the theatre telly film industry and the memories I've got in the 40s. I'm taking some up for Kilvo and um, he's already seen one, but I just found this one Go on. earlier today from. Wait, it's really about it. A gentleman, the great John Lord, had a deep purple. The shoe? Yeah, that's me in 1977. Are you looking forward to getting to Borough, yeah? Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. And Dave's with us. There's been a lot of interest about Dave coming up to Borough as well because uh, we've become a bit of an internet star on the vlog. We were in Bristol last week and Cardiff the week before and Stoke. Stoke and last week. So the Stoke game was great and Bristol was great and this is sold out. It's going to be brilliant. So we're on our onwards and upwards and uh, really looking forward to it. The Longlands Club, we've done it loads of times before. Four times, four Fantastic, times, and yeah. I, Mick was wondering whether we were going to do a bigger venue in Middlesbrough this time round, but we said no, we're going to go to the Longlands Club, don't we, and, yeah, and, yeah. and get back there, because it you know, makes us feel at home, really good there, people, yeah. and we've become close friends with them. And a year ago to the day, almost, is we met James Pilvington in Middlesbrough last year. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah. We met him in Borough, he did his first show ever for us at the Longlands Club in Borough. He's gone from strength to strength ever since. As, as Dave, what do you call him, Dave? The clavicles. Dave calls him the clavicles. If he gets back in the ring again, I'm going to be his caller man. Put it out, put it out. The James, the clavicles, kill me to... It's going to be great. Big thanks to everyone who's come bought tickets for the Butter Show, who came along to the Butter Show by the time you've seen this. A big thanks to anyone who's watching this video. Make sure you give us a big thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, all of that. And uh, keep the family business rolling. Mad, it's like fucking Harry Potter. Oh my god. Where are you? Fucking <laughs> retard. I've been wrong turn and gone back 50 fucking years here. Fucking hell. Never seen a lot like that in my life. Welcome to Border. Just arrived in Butter, here we are on stage, 2-2, two -two. set up behind us, all sorted. Just Frank chilling out, P. Kenny and the boys, and uh, I think we've got, let's see what we've got in here. Yes. 
Uh, he could be that this is, you know, this is John Lord, this is me and him 20 years ago. Right? Oh, and here we are on the photograph 20 years later. Yeah, and Roger, happiness. Roger Glover, the bass player, took our photo. Yeah. It's backstage at the Empire. I'm standing there. Fucking stash here. So Dave, just, can you just explain to the, the vlog what's going on with this batch of photos? Well, I promised I'd bring Kilbo some old ones. There's Brown London, the great sunny list. Yeah. And I just, I just, I promised Kilbo. I've been looking. You know, the batch has been sent out. Yeah. Joke, I the batch. <laughs> and I've got loads of batch, but I just wanted to show Kilbo some, some history of um, well, the mischief I've been up to over the last forty years before I got pensioned off. Have you got just, the ones with Mr. T. I certainly have. Just been. pull out a few classics for us, Dave. So this, <laughs> this is Mr. T. We always get dressed up at Christmas for a laugh. I said, open the door. I burst it. I had a mask on. Then and he was crying. He was, I know she's a ball robin. And he said, you see, Claudia, like that. He said, Dim it, I'm gonna have a photograph. So I'm gonna pop my jewelry on. And I said, T, your, your door's open. She said, Dim it, I gotta summon walk in, put my jewelry on, walk out with both legs intact. That was Christmas, December 91. And that's when we all went 10 pin bowling uh, at Speak. In speak. Is that Mr. T in Speak? Yeah, he is, but he's, he's, he's Dim it. Fucking hell. Yeah, there's, Brad, there's Walsy Bradley. He's, Good luck to what he's done now. And, uh, he said, David, you stand next to me with your Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> so a year ago today, almost to the day, we met Jay. You will have seen this room. I was only uh, even a year ago, no. No? No, no, I was about, I'll tell you when it was. Go on, we're gonna find out when it was. I'm it gonna was cut. 5th of July. 5th of July, 2018, we met this fella. We're back here at the Longlands Club. He's been doing support shows for us ever since. Me and him have grown very close, which is great. He's a good lad. He sounds and, you know, his hair's a bit carried in comparison to what it used to be like. Well, I'm nearly for anything now, Kill. <laughs> What's this belt today? Well, I just thought you know, it was a bit cold, you know, he's never been to Borough before. Yeah. So I just thought, so I've got my tables on. He's going on burgling. So I'm going out now. Kill's going to tell me when I go to a chippy and get a nice pound chips. <laughs> Almost time to go in Buddha with Jay Kill. How are you feeling? Good mate, feeling really good. Ready to rock and roll. Good. Yeah, you seem quite chilled. I'm chilled, that's Frank, what are you thinking? I'm fucking starving. I wanted something to eat. We've had nothing to eat. And we haven't even done any crispy on the bar, so we'll have to wait till later. So this happens every week. We end up starving. Could have ordered anything. Off who? He spoke to you before, he said Cammy would have boxed anything, Ca give Cammy a shout out. Cammy Trinos, either we'll get them later off Cammy Trinos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have to wait till later, have a pack of the crisps, we've got no, no nuts or nothing, will No. We're gonna have to start, I should have brought some crisps from the house, shouldn't I? But I'm gonna die, so I don't know. I know, yeah. This is diva behaviour, ladies and gentlemen. Witnessing. Diva behaviour, just asking for the fucking packets of crisps. <laughs> We've got these girls here, you're alright girls, how are you doing, you're alright? Yeah. Fucking hell, you're a bit excited now, yeah? What are you all, all doing, you're all out on a, a work night? Yeah. Sort, of. sort of. What do you mean, you're all fucking prostitutes or something? <laughs> what do you do, what, what do you do, you all work at the same place? Yeah. What do you do? Care home. Care home. And you're just taking one of the fucking patients out of yourself. Yeah? Yes. That's good. <laughs> eh? Is that her, uh, yeah? So I've got to be nice to her, yeah? You alright, Tyler? Looking after you, darling. So which care home do you work at? Lawsley. Yeah, what, sorry? Lawsley. Where's that? Down Lytton Street. Oh, fucking hell. Do you know uh, where Lytton Street is? Do you just, like, fucking inject him with all shit and bait him up on that? <laughs> Tell you you're a nasty little bitch, you, aren't you? <laughs> Bet you love punching old people. <laughs> do you? I wouldn't dare let you look after my nana. Okay, now look at the state, yeah? <laughs> do you, I hope you do, you, do you love looking after old people then? Do you love it? Wiping asses and that. <laughs> yeah? Is that your favourite, what's your favourite part of the job? Go on. You're the ringleader, go on. What's your favourite part of the job? What's your name, darling? Joanne. Joanne, what's your favourite part of the job, Joanne? Working with dementia patients. Working with dementia, but why? She, she can fucking lie to them all the time. <laughs> Fucking hell, Joanne. I did give you a bath. I did wipe your ass, you scruffy cunts. You nasty little witch. Joanne, Joanne, Joanne. Just come off. Kilvo, how would you find it, fella? Yeah, good crowds, great crowds. Longland's always a good crowd, though. I love it. It's like my hometown, innit? So, my own place with Mick. 
picking me up a comedy club here actually. Having a laugh comedy. Plug. Having a laugh comedy. Get on it. Who <laughs> have you got coming up here? Got Gary Delaney coming up, Troy Orr, Maddie Dean, and a few of them. Nathan Caton. Nathan Caton. We've had Clinton Baptiste here. We've had. Well, Frankie's his own thing, isn't it? Frank will come Frankie's been here. This is his fourth time. Frankie's in it. Yeah, Frankie's fourth, fourth time, time here, yeah. Frankie's fourth time. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, so we've got a, a good crowd, good base. Boss, enjoyed it? Yeah, I loved it. Kilbo's dad and his brother were watching. And uh, did you feel nervous in front of them? No, because I always found my dad a cunt. No, 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 no. got some big laughs there though. Yep. Hammer in the crowd and that. Yes. I really enjoyed it myself. I was laughing my head off. Yeah, what do you think, Frank? Brilliant. It was the best I've seen him, really, to be honest with you. Okay. And uh, his time and confidence and everything. Huge laughs. Brilliant. Good. I've got to follow him now. And uh, Dave. <laughs> Yo, what do you think? I thought it was great. Um, I know it's always you can't really tell from the audience, you know, when you're up on stage. It's uh, but you know, I thought it went well. Kill. Cool. Just watch the first half. What do you think, mate? Oh, fantastic! It was good. I was, I was sat with my dad, and my dad was laughing at us. And, and Cammy, yeah. Cammy has chinos. He was being in my crying, laughing, but. One lad trying to get, I think he's had a bit of drink, honey, that lad over there. Well, yeah, with that lad, he's a bit of a dickhead. I mean, it got the better of him and all that, but you don't need it. So, just ask one of the lads to have a way of him well before I come back home. Just under 40 minutes, first half. Enjoy it, yeah? All right, Jim. Yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. So, just quite pleased that Jimmy went down fantastic. So, we both done well tonight, as usual. Yep. So, it's onwards and upwards and on for the next half. Nice one, right. Yeah. Dave, smashed it. Yeah, I stood at the back uh, and watched it. it. Was great, great crowd, and uh, another good, another good in uh, half hour or so. And uh, as you say, smashed it there, Frank. You were very responsive. And what I observed, you were like fright to death. There's a queue like getting on the Titanic, get off the Titanic for the toilet now. Yeah, yeah. And it was just very, very, very funny, Frank. Great. Boss, all good. Catch you in the second half. Nice one, buddy. I went to London on a train. Sitting opposite a nun, I was eating some shrimps. She said, this is a non-eating compartment. Stop, stop, Peter, I'll fucking do you in, you dickhead. <laughs> hey, mate, does your mouth bleed once a month? <laughs> hey, mate, one more word, I'll fucking fill you in in front of everyone in your shit house. <laughs> you have to go home and tell your man you've been filled in by a comedian. <laughs> You see my ball dead, mate, right in between your fucking eyes. <laughs> you dickhead. Fuck the waste of oxygen, you cunt. If you had a chest, I'd fucking smash it. <laughs> when you were a kid, you had to feed you with a catapult. <laughs> fucking ugly cunt. In the incubator, they had tinted windows. Get off, he thinks we're going off. Look. <laughs> I was in a pub in Grange Sound, Bella come in like a referee, paid a short, a flag and a whistle. My mate said, fucking move, I said, what's up? He said, he's gonna kick off in a minute. <laughs> he's have lost a lot of fucking weight, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, you fat cunt. Good DJ, he does a lot of work for hospitals. Makes people sick. <laughs> I'm a skinny, ugly cunt. He <laughs> thinks he can threaten a comedian. Because I'm with six skinny cunts. Fuck off. <laughs> Fucking prick. <laughs> Fucking rough as fuck here. <laughs> anyway, you alright, mate? Is your care all right now? <laughs> Sorry? What 
This is no fucking quiz. <laughs> I'm a comedian, you dickhead. I'm not a alien fucking limping away. <laughs> All right, mate, that's fucking great. Sit down, I'll get you a basket to weave. <laughs> Go and sit with the other daft cunt over there. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Nurse, he's out of bed. Oh fucking nuts! Oh calf! <laughs> I'll take your fucking bird on with your tumbleina, look. <laughs> fucking bird about two foot high. <laughs> Look at the tits on this one, eh, love? Don't get your photo taken. You won't get those tits on a key ring. Get your tits out, you can't you? <laughs> I can't fucking believe this. <laughs> fucking echo by dwarfs, the same. Fucking dead body shouting out. A 200 year old penfold fucking having a go. Fucking queers and paedophiles. You alright girls, did you all come together? Would like to have seen that. Hello, you have a fantastic audience. I hope no one's got offended or whatever. And uh, during the interval, everyone wants to see a fight. Meet me over there. <laughs> I'll fucking bang you, you silly cunt. Hey, mate, do us a favour, knock that dickhead out. You can't even see him, you blind fat. <laughs> Fucking happening. <laughs> fucking temple's kicking off. <laughs> Hello, Joe. I've been a fuck off. I've been on too long. I know you've got to go back to the car wash, mate. Let me tire, nice tire. <laughs> nice tire for you. I vacuum, let me. 10 pound super wash, 15 pound fuck my cousin, 20 pound fill the dickhead in, 30 pound, 30 pound wine cough pimple. What were you shouting out before, mate? Come on, one here. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been a great crowd. And as I say, no, is he kicking off? The cut's coming off. <laughs> you know, get your fucking mouth around this. <laughs> oh, cut off, you little twat. <laughs> what is it? Hang on. Oh, hang on. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Fucking hell, man, how is it? Well, listen, mate. What's your vlog, right? What's your vlog, right? Okay. You'll be working soon. The grotto opens in December. <laughs> Fuck off, you poor eyed little dumb. Fuck off, you poor eyed little dumb. Give it up, give it up for Frankie Allen! Do you want to hear more? <laughs> Middle breath, get on your feet and give it up one more time for the UK's most big comedian, Mr. Frankie Allen! Just with a couple of the guys here after the show, they've just been in. What are your names, boys? I'm Paul. Paul and Adam. Adam. Paul and Adam, are you, are you butter lads? Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. the local lads. What do you think of the show tonight, boys? Unbelievable. Yeah, great, yeah. Awesome. Brilliant. Same awesome. as Stockton last year. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. Brilliant, Very and uh, great, enjoy yeah. tonight. Unreal. Top, top guys, what do you think of James? Yeah. Yeah, well, spot it's on. Oh, great, yeah. brilliant! Good stuff. Good. I want to go and see him when he's on his own. Oh, spot on! Meet you, Drew. Missing him. 
Right, we're going to go see it. Oh, fantastic. Well, look, lovely to see you, lads, and, and made up you enjoy enjoying yeah. it. Thanks very much. Right. Liam, Liam's been on the show tonight. Enjoy yourself, fella. Sound so, mate, it's fun, yeah. Well, second good. time, second time. Second time coming yeah. on, and good night. Yeah, class night. Sound, he's off to get mashed with his missus now, so yeah. have a good one, Liam. All the best, nice Jimmy to see Kilbo. you. Jimmy Kilbo. Jimmy Kilbo, the top man. Catch you in a bit. See you later. Yeah. That's Stevie Jones. Hang on a minute. Right. That, that one, and he's laughing his head off, he's crying there actually. We all got to the stomach yeah. Christmas. I booked it, well, we were doing pants over in 91, 92, yeah. I was what, 91, I was 34. Let's just get a quick shot of that, Dave. Yeah, have a look at that. Belter. Proper photo of that. In there. Belter. I, 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 it's an old story. I, he knew what was coming up to his dressing room, he's lying on a big chest of field. Dave, like, just to, to, can we tell the vlog this? So this is Mr T, this is when you met him in the Empire, isn't it? When we were doing pants over him for eight weeks, yep. 91, 92 season. So the Christmas, me and the chief electrician got dressed up as Batman and Robin. I booted his door and said, who's that there? So I burst in, <laughs> and I had a big mask on, he said, I never see the ball, Robin. <laughs> I said, get up. I said, you guys have gone three rounds of knocking ball ball. I'm fucking batting here. <laughs> well, he was crying. I didn't see there. And he said, David, we got a foot. I said, well, I said, he said, get up, put the jewelry on. And he said, doors open. I said, tee the doors open. He said, David. I said, God, see someone walk in here, put the jewelry on, walk out with both legs intact. So we had this faulty, and he's crying here, he fucking crushed me, ugly me. And he was an absolute gent. Because I used to put gaffer tape down here and go, suck it. And he'd go, David, you're the coach guy in town. And he'd go, hey, laddie. He walked down from the Adelphi down to the Empire with a fucking deer stalking on the tracky. He said, where's that American bar? I said, some guy was being funny. I had to cuff him. I said, what do you mean lock him up? He said, no, I slapped him. I said, no, I'm good. Motherfucker. Well, that. Just left the Longlands Club in Butter. We're heading straight to our mate, Cammy's, Peter's shop called Chino's. Everyone's here. It's a little bit of a congregation. Dave's here. Um, Cammy's going to be here with Kilv. And they were going to have a little bit of a vibe in this chinos and get some screens. So, yeah, I'll use two jump out here and I'll park up. Go ahead, catch you in a bit. Very good, aren't they, Dave? <laughs> Stuff kill we're in, we're in a spectacular Chino's pizza here. Yeah, it's a quick ball in it. We're gonna get you a little parmo, you know. You should try a parmo. Jimmy up. I'll have a bit of Will's, but I'll, up for now I'll just have a cheese pizza. Cheese and tomato. Boy, so you bought a lads, yeah? Tell us about what this parmo is. Parmo is. Really cheap. Fresh milk sauce and cheese. Frank's in Chino's. Cammy's uh, place here in Butter. Cammy's got the best. Pizza gap. Can we tell everyone where it is? Uh, Club in your home in uh, Middlesbrough. Frank, what do you think of the place? The place is fantastic. I did a lot about Camo, you know, before the came here. Yeah, Cammy, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Jimmy's also about it. But the place is fantastic. And always a bit of a, you know, major head round here. And I had a feeling I'd meet him and woke up this morning, he was also dead. Getting him a bed, you know. <laughs> Bechamel sauce, cheese, hot chop means it's got like spicy stuff on it basically. Kilvoe loves it. Kilvoe loves it. I'm going to eat this in about five seconds. And this fella. I've been having meal preps in the back room. This fella's on the fucking big hot shop cheese with Chino's Parmos. Nice one. Cammy's dishing us out the, the goods here, smashing it. Nice one. So, if you're in Teesside, get down to Chino's Pizza here. It's the best gap in town. So, I'm just going to try one of this, these Parmo things. This one's a hot shot one. It's got jalapenos on, onions, all the rest of it. <laughs> what the hell? I didn't think it'd be that nice. <laughs> 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 it's it's over, huh? Boss, that in it? No wonder it's the big one round here. Good. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Fabulous. It's worth driving over to 62 the A1M to Chino. Get here now.
Vous avez de bonnes chances ici, monsieur, en Angleterre Oui, oui. Vous avez la famille ici Don't forget, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Middlesbrough.